after years of doing many different things for filming my LEGO videos, I am very excited to finally announce that I finally have created a custom studio backdrop that actually looks professional. During my recent LEGO room renovation process that I realized that it was time that I, f I needed a new backdrop. I've used everything from cardboard to so just some Bristol boards thrown up, TV trays, the floor at one point. I, I used a saggy desk and I had never been happy with any of them. Especially after being inspired by other YouTubers, I decided that enough's enough, I need a proper setup. I'm basically just using the table that I used to have part of my LEGO City on. It's a nice short table and it's perfect for the filming height. I told my dad what I wanted to do with the table, so he said he'd help me out. We took the table and we added additional supports up the side, as well as some on the bottom, as well as on the back, on the top, although it's hard to see with all the crap there. We even had to add more screws just because the table was so wobbly. Now, I made this table a long time ago at like a boys club, so don't judge me the fact that it's not done properly. Once the table frame was in place, it was time to add the lights. Because my dad's always been a handyman, he knows a, a bit about electricity and wiring so we have managed to wire up a box to control my light all it is is the box with one wire going down out of the studio and is plugged into the wall here the box has two spots it has an, a power outlet and a switch all the switch does is control the light it's off right now and I know it's on because it also has this little red light the outlet here plugs in my camera because without the outlet my camera will not work because I don't have a battery in it From the box, the wire goes down and onto this big fluorescent light, which we added. The light, of, the light itself is actually on chains, and all you do is you can move the light by moving the chain. You can have it on its side if you want, or you can have it completely even just by moving the chains around. I can have the light so low you can barely see my sig fig, or I can have it so high it won't go any higher. Overall, the light works really well. In addition to the other lighting here, the big light, I have these two Photography Cowboy Studio lights here just on stands. They do come with umbrellas, but I, they just take up too much space. The re reason that I have all this lighting is the fact that not one thing does it all. This is what it, the backdrop looks like with just the fluorescent light on. This is what the backdrop looks like without the fluorescent light on and just the two Cowboy Studio lights. And this is what the backdrop looks like with every single light on. We also designed the top of this so that I could store stuff on top. And eventually, once I get all these sets reviewed, I will have it as a display. The backdrop color that I use is here on the back, not the floor, the back. It is all black. And it's actually not even attached to the studio at all. And this is what the backdrop looks like behind the wall. All it's made of is black fabric that I picked up one meter up for $5 at my local fabric store. The floor of the studio here is white. All it is is literally a white piece of bliss Bristol board that I had to cut down and tape with this green carpenter's tape just so it doesn't move. I just don't know what else to put there that looks really cool like this. I even considered removing the black backdrop and putting in a brick wall which I thought would be kind of cool. But once I did it actually I'm like yeah I don't like this as much and actually all my subscribers favored the black and white. I like this backdrop a lot because it is a lot deeper than my other studio used to be. I mean, in the last studio backdrop I had, I could barely fit a, like a Lego car, but now with this one, I can fit all of Benny's spaceship. I can even go in for a close-up and get the entire spaceship. I could not do that before. This backdrop is also really convenient because it is much bigger. I can use it a lot more and it's ready set up. All I gotta do is flip the switch, turn the light on, and go. For example, when I wanted to review this Lego movie set, it wouldn't fit on my other studio. So what I had to do was set up a whole other backdrop. I had to clear off my desk free of all Lego, my computer monitor, all of that stuff, set up a temporary backdrop, all fabric, had to remove things from the wall to set it up, set up all my lights, and to film this video. It was at least half an hour to 45 minutes of setup time, and then half an hour to 45 minutes of putting everything back and taking everything down. So there we go, that's almost an hour, an hour to an hour and a half 
just setting up for this video when now all I need to do is flip the switch and go. Another feature that's really important with this backdrop is it is portable. If I need to get into the closet because sometimes it happens, it literally just slides right out of the way very peacefully and my parents or myself can get into that closet no hassle whatsoever and when it's time to go back like see no hassle it just completely slid out of the way the backdrop does cover the door handle but I can still open it up I sure hope you like this video about my new backdrop as almost as much as I like my new backdrop thanks everybody for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Lego related videos I hope you have a great day